Welcome to Unmuted, the all lady, all the time edition. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Lisa Duan. And while Brody's away, I'm gonna play and show him how it's done. Ooh. Marissa and I will each be presenting topics, tweets, and internet treats to discuss. Mm, yes, and if one of us gets out of line, well, she gonna get muted for 30 seconds. Now, producer Tyler has his finger on the buzzer and will be timing us each for each topic presented. Two minutes on the board, Tyler. Let's go, let's get to the first drama bomb. All right, so let's kick off the stories with the biggest news of the week, the Google Stadia. Mm. Google unveiled its long rumored streaming platform during GDC 2019. Called Google Stadia, the platform will allow players to stream games directly to their computers, no console or high-end hardware required. There's no information on what kind of internet connection you'll need, nor do we know how much it will cost. But it is set to come out by the end of 2019. Hmm. So is Stadia a good idea? Are you are you excited about this one? Uh, I'm not excited. I'm not <gasps> excited. I wish I could say that I was. What? Honestly, Lisa, do you not feel a little inundated? Do you not feel a little overwhelmed with all the things that we already have in all this the choices? life? All the choices we have to game on, all the different platforms we have, all of these subscription-based services that no. we use, and all the internet that we use as well, Marissa, as a result. Choices are good. Look, just because it comes out doesn't mean I have to use it, but I will try it. And if it's better, I will switch. There's nothing wrong with that. And you know what? There, it's promising to be like the next step of gaming yeah. platform. So if it actually is, why not? Why are we afraid? Why are we afraid of change? I, listen, I'm not, <laughs> I am not afraid of change. And I freaking love Jade Raymond. She has been a staple in the gaming industry for a long time now. I love that she's heading up their gaming division. I love that she's giving developers, big and small, the opportunity to make something great for this platform so wonderful. I definitely will try it too, but uh, I just feel like it's too much. We don't know how much it's gonna cost, number one. Yes. Okay. What if it eats a huge hole in our pockets? They can't charge too much, but then it's like, maybe it'll be a small amount of money, but how much more data do I need from my internet provider to be able to play any of this Listen, stuff? No, it's crazy. It, I think it's actually corresponding with like the new wave of internet. You know, like what is it, 8G or 5G is coming mm -hmm. out. Now data plans, everyone's getting like unlimited data anyways, right? For lots of money. In yeah. Canada, it's a messed up so amount of money. So that's a telecom issue. That's a Canada telecom issue. But this isn't just something that affects us. This is a whole world thing. Mm -hmm. It might work better in the US, sure, which has better plans, okay? But we have to stop thinking for just us. This is a huge thing for the world. Yeah. I know some people have concerns, you know, in other countries that don't have the infrastructure. True. True. You know what? It's not going to be the best for you. That's the reality. But this could be the first step and maybe that will inspire, you know, more infrastructure in other places. If people want it that bad, they're going to, you know, work for it. Yeah, I'm, if Google is going to make a play, this has to be the play they yeah. make. I don't see any other way around it. I just feel like, damn, we already have so much. How much more do we need, Lisa? We can always have more. Uh -huh. More, more. Speaking of having more, former League of Legends Pro High has formed his own oh, esports smack org smack called smack Radiance. The org has already signed an amateur no, league roster. Though there isn't oh, much of an amateur now, scene right now. There is, but not anything huge. High said that he wants to help grow it. So. Should League of Legends have an amateur scene, a little bigger one, Lisa Duan, as our league expert? I mean, okay, just to give everyone like a little context, so like yeah. Riot already has, they have the obviously the official league. Mm. They have academy teams. Every official team has an academy squad underneath it. Mm. There's also collegiate scenes, so there is that in place. But I think what they want is more grassroots, I guess, tournaments. Mm. Um, I guess there can always be more. Like. But you know, what is, what's his goal here? Like he ha wants to form more of a grassroots scene because then he could poach the players from that scene for his org. Like what is the, what? Because remember, it's all about money. Yes. So how is he going to make money from this amateur scene? Maybe it isn't about money. I mean, High has been a staple in the league scene forever, you know? Like mm. maybe he just sees, like we see, we're going to get into this later, but like mm. a story where maybe the viewership is dying off and the mm. people aren't playing the same way, all that stuff. So maybe he wants to get people into the game again, passionate, from the grassroots upwards. Mm. And I feel like there is a little bit of, I was going to say incest, but with like people who, the, the players that get put onto these teams are, they know each other. Yeah, yeah. You know, like they play in solo queue, they meet each other on solo queue. So mm. like these are the players that usually get picked up. So maybe High is trying to bring new talent I from see. outside in, you know, to I give see. them a chance. So maybe he is pure of heart yeah. and he really just does want to give people from the outside in a little chance, a little yeah. window. Let's crack the window open, let people come in. And if that's the case, and I salute him 100 because yeah. you're right. Right. And lots of people that play video games and they're really good at it just don't feel like there is an opportunity for them to shine, especially in a scene that's so established like yes. League. So if this actually works out, then maybe we should build a statue. Uh, for high? Of high. 
This is a little weird. Actually, oh. maybe <laughs> this is actually an interesting point. The fact that, you know, the LEC, the LCS, it's so expensive to get in from a mm. sponsorship point. Maybe what Hai is thinking from business side is that there is people who are interested in investing, mm. but they're not willing to dish out the $20 million, but there's someone who's willing to put in five. Mm. And that could go towards maybe more an amateur scene. And Hai is just getting in on this early. Think we about that. She's got the case. They need the one is on it. All right. Let's okay. move on to the next story because actually relevant in other league news. According to the Esports Observer, LEC viewership is way up compared to last year. It's apparently averaging roughly 30,000 more viewers than it did in the 2018 spring split, which translates to way more hours watched. On the other hand, LCS viewership growth has flatlined mm -mm. with similar numbers compared to last year. See, mm. there you go, relevant. So let's look at the LEC first. Do okay. you think, why do you think it's grown? You know? Uh, Talent, for one thing. I feel like the talent on the desk, their production is fantastic. Yes. Like I don't even, like, you know that I'm not a league person, but I will watch for the talent. I yeah. love that they brought in Frankie and Machine just to, like, do a little side whatever. That is so much Brilliant. fun. The fact that they're expanding their audience. Like, they're thinking with their noodles and their pockets. Like, <laughs> this is exactly how it should be. We should expand. with should... your noodle sounds a little... Well, I meant your brain. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. This is a noodle. Kappa. I meant. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, no, they're obviously doing something right, and obviously the NAC needs to look to this and kind of replicate in some way. Mm -hmm. uh, but they, but I feel like the NAC has always kind of been pooped on by the you know European what? scene. In terms of skill, that's always been like the thing. That's mm. the. Th but however, NALCS was always more popular. I felt like mm. in terms of viewership. Mm. So it's kind of interesting that the LEC, which I think a couple of years ago was actually seeing a huge decrease in viewership, mm. that they're managing to pick it up. Which makes me think there's a lot of things that happened in the LEC this year that might have contributed to it. Like players like Perks, who was a huge deal, switching roles. Like that yes. is almost. That was a huge shocker. Yeah, that doesn't yeah. happen, you know? Yeah. And me you mentioned Machine and mm -hmm, Frankie coming mm -hmm. in. CSGO numbers increasing. Yeah. Brilliant. But then why is the NA scene not showing the same amount of growth? Which is full of personalities, mind yeah. you. Like, they're the biggest personalities okay. in the league scene right now. Okay. Double lift. Maybe Bjergsen. They, for sure. So maybe they need to expand on that, do exactly what the LEC is doing. Why can't they just copy a little bit? Just bring yeah. on some talent from the outside in. Bring that European talent because mm. they, they brought those people from Europe into their European scene. So... Bring them over to this side. Give them a little taste of the NA Poach scene. Those numbers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Poach some of them numbers. Bring them over because if you love league, you love league, right? Yeah. Why can't you watch a little more NA? That's true. Just throw it out there. We need more person. We need more. You know, was it you trash Lisa Duan? Ah, I'll bring it. I'll do it. I'll Let's do it. Let's go, baby. That's what I want to see. All right, season two of the NBA2K League will be kicking off on April 2nd with a tip-off tournament. Just like last year, it will be the first of three tournaments that will take place during the regular season, which will run from April to July. Four teams are joining the league this year, representing the LA Lakers, Brooklyn Nets, Atlanta Hawks, and Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, Lisa, what would you do to improve or change the league for its second season? Because, of course, I mean, the first one was okay, but the numbers, you know, weren't quite where they maybe should have been. But I, I don't think... I think they've already taken the step to increase the number. You know what it is? Mm, tell me. I watched the draft this year, Ooh. and the first woman was drafted. Chiquita, right? Yes. I think that is huge. It's a huge step for this league. Not according to Thorin. Oh, uh, whatever, <laughs> Thorin. Get over yourself. This <laughs> is amazing. This is amazing. I'm just watching the draft and hearing the storylines. They have a great broadcast team. Mm -hmm. I was watching it, and I actually got into it. Yeah. And I think... Just carrying on how they are doing mm. with these new players that are bringing interest, mm -hmm. we'll get more views. I'm personally going to be more invested, in, uh, invested really? into it this year just because of Chiquita. I want to see how she does. Uh, I want to see okay. how the scene works. I mean, coming from someone who seemed to be poo pooing any kind of sports esports. Don't bring that up! <laughs> a little Don't while ago. Up. It's fine. We don't need to get into that, Lisa. Uh, no, but I'm so happy to have sports esports. Like yes. you know this, I'm happy about it because it only brings in uh, fresh eyes. It brings in a new audience that is never or has never been into esports before. Mm -hmm. This is a way for people to jump in and see, yo, this is something they can show their parents. Look, I can make money doing this for parents that only ever watch sports, that only ever get into that world. Yeah. This is something new. And yes, the viewers aren't maybe the greatest, but you're right. The broadcast talent is outstanding. So They're hilarious. So good. So hype. I love the trash talking that happens. Do you know they're encouraging that, which Beautiful. is so great. I need more of it. We need more trash talking always. You know what else they're doing really well? Tell me. Their fashion. The oh. Champions collaboration with the NBA 2K League is fire. I, mean, <laughs> so I, I checked out the store last night. I didn't buy anything. I didn't buy anything, mind you. But I noticed they only do sweaters in three colors. Is there like a rule? Oh. Red, black, and blue. That's the only thing. That's well, weird. I think it has to tie into that team's colors too, right? Yeah, but so, are there only red, black, and blue in these teams? Well, I mean, look, look, look at the on? Overwatch League. There seems to be only like red, <laughs> black, and like gray and white. Like every team is yeah. whatever except for Vancouver and I don't know, Spark. Yeah, pink. pink. That's yeah, cool. and they have the best jerseys because 
is the right pink. I'm waiting for a pink NBA 2K jersey. Let's go. Uh, or a green one. That's cool, too. All right. We got to move on. Now it's time to see what streamers <sighs> have been up to in Clip It. Streamer Evie Sue was watching Gordon Ramsay and had something to say about cooking. Hmm. Listen, I can cook in the kitchen and I can eat some ass, too, okay? Excuse me? Yo, what's up? I'm streaming. I just came down to let you know I'm leaving in the morning. Oh, okay. See ya. <laughs> you couldn't have freaking texted me or something? I'm freaking streaming. You to... Oh, my God. <laughs> God damn it. I'm just being funny. How dare he talk to his mom like that? <laughs> First, First of, of all, <laughs> that's just rude. Okay, but have you ever maybe had a moment where your mom kind of walks in on you? You were having mm. a phone call or something, like anything where mommy kind of embarrassed you no, in some luckily, way? No, luckily, my mom doesn't speak English. Oh. So that advantaged me. Um, however, <laughs> how, pardon me. However, I notice in this office, in the office in the back, in the producer yeah. room, my back is facing that door. Yeah. And sometimes people <laughs> walk in when I'm saying the darnest things. I'm sorry, boss. <laughs> I didn't mean it. It was out of context. But it happens to me a lot. It's okay. usually something anti Tyler. Yeah. Tyler. Mature audience. Eat it, Tyler. Uh, no. <laughs> like that. Like that. That's inappropriate. <laughs> Uh, no, I love you? it. That kind of stuff makes me so happy. Like, I want more moms to walk in. I want more dads to walk in. It's the best because, like, I mean, obviously they know how their son or daughter behaves. Like, mm -hmm. when they're being the goofiest, they usually have already seen that, right? Especially growing up as an adolescent. So uh, just maybe being extra dumb or extra yeah. stupid in front of a stream, in front of a whole bunch of people watching you and yeah. having your mom or dad walk in on you yeah. in those moments. Like, that's just kind of funny. I just want to actually see the mom next time. I want to yeah. see the dad just to get the real visceral well, reaction. Aren't you just tired of, like, parents being used for the views? You know, grandmas, grandpas, I am tired kids. Of that. I'm tired of grandmas. Those moms scripted. and dads, whatever. They're they're borderline because they still understand internet culture. But grandmas, your they mom don't. understands internet culture. Uh, I mean, she's yeah, she's on Facebook. She, she, she's, a cool she, she's a cool mom. She's a cool mom. No, she, I mean, she's on Facebook and uh, she does follow me on Twitter. Uh -huh. um, sometimes she tweets things. As uh, she shouldn't. Oh. Um, so no, like they're there. They get it. They yeah. understand there's a world out there where uh -huh. people are watching. But I feel like there's no. I can't even. My grandma still doesn't get how like an Uber or a Lyft works. <laughs> like I'm like no, no, no. Like I have an Uber coming. Like no, like a cab. Huh? What? what? Like still anything outside of like her norm? Aww. It doesn't make sense. So just stop abusing grandmas, parents, yeah. whatever. Okay. They, they get it. Are your rants over? Yeah. You're good? All right, let's move on <laughs> because our next clip is from Dream League where interviewer Slacks gave a viewer advice on how to ask someone out. Uh-oh. Go for it. Go for it. Advice. You ready Real for advice. this? Don't yeah. go out looking, okay? Be yourself. Shit comes to you when you stop caring. That's what I learned in my life. I wanted a girlfriend. I wanted a, a wife for a long time. And then one day I stopped giving a shit. I focused on myself. I did things that I wanted to do. I went to do things that I wanted to do. And guess what? You're going to meet people that have similar interests. So go get a job. Go get a hobby. Find someone that loves the things you do and care about yourself. And when you care about yourself, the others will come. Or you can, you know, get nap them. <sighs> Don't do that. That's what I did. <laughs> that was all so good. <laughs> All that advice was amazing, and then he kind of like threw it all away at the end. Or you could, you know, kidnap ooh. them. Yeah, that's what I do. Uh, no, love slash is hilarious so much that advice is on point. He's absolutely right. Like, there's it shouldn't be about you know investing all your time and energy into finding the one. The one will always find you as long as you're open to it, as long as you're kind and yeah. warm and welcoming to everybody in your life. And just be that's all it is. Find a this hobby. Is like creatures corner. What's going on? No, he's absolutely right. Find a hobby. Like yes. obviously, you and I love gaming so much. Like yeah. you met your man playing games mm. you, you got into league because your man loves league. like you know what i mean yeah like, there's just that there's like that pull in there yeah. that kind of keeps you close as long as you have something that kind of bonds you yes. so don't force it just yes. let it happen naturally. i think the point is focus on yourself make yourself better and then people will be attracted to what's that. that what's that quote yeah, what's that rupaul better. quote it can't if you can't love yourself how the hell are you gonna love somebody else it's, that's it's, what it says i don't what know what rupaul okay oh okay I, okay i don't know that quote okay i don't watch it, rupaul <laughs> What? Hey, Grace. I know the show. I don't oh watch it. Well, sue me. God. It's not a big deal. Moving <laughs> on. It's time now for Profound Thoughts as we head into our favorite place to find them, Twitter, where all of us just shout things at the window and hoping somebody will notice. Mm -hmm. Our first week comes from Space Station Gaming's Rainbow Six coach, Lycan, who ponders, is it a new friend to put, oh, is it a new trend <laughs> to put unpopular opinion accurate and say something people mostly agree with? I'm big confused. Send help. Mm, I see a lot of videos on YouTube where yeah. like unpopular opinions and they get millions of views. 
The, yeah, like, because it's actually like a popular opinion. First of all, it definitely should, like, really, it should be an unpopular opinion that we're mm -hmm. expressing that other people agree with, and that's why we're getting likes. It shouldn't be a popular opinion that you're saying is an unpopular opinion. You just freaking lost me. What? What? No, what because was that? that? Because you just, that's you just the said trend. unpopular ten times and that works. Unpopular, yeah, because that's the trend, saying unpopular opinion yes. and then tweeting whatever. Yes. But it's really a popular opinion, which is why you're getting likes. I feel like it's a popular opinion because it's based in hate. I think people like to jump on the hate bandwagon. Oh, unpopular easy. Unpopular opinions are actually like things where you, sh oh, you know, <laughs> trash on <laughs> something, I almost swore, <laughs> trash on something, and you want other people to join you, you know? Like, it's a really bonding of hate, and I don't like that. I don't know. Some of them are hate. Some of them are just kind of funny. But you're right. Don't don't bond over hate. That's yeah. not how you meet the love of your life, people. Oh my God. Just a, just a <laughs> dating know, corner. Back. Call back. Yeah, call back. Don't don't, don't 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 be hateful. All right, let's move on to the next tweet. So this next tweet was deleted for some reason, mm. and I seen it and I sniped it before <laughs> it was gone. So let's enjoy this tweet from Vish. And so he started with quoting a tweet from Ariana Grande, and she said, "I never don't want mango." Of course, Vicious Thoughts, how I feel when I watch Smash Top 8. Yeah. That's so clever. It's so clever. It's so funny. What, Vish, why did you delete that, man? Like, what's that about? And, okay, I have a theory. What's the theory? Because that tweet from Ariana Grande was actually from, like, 2013. He was stalking her? So he maybe creeped. So maybe he deleted it because it has the timestamp on it, and maybe he was just, like, just scrolling through her tweets. Or maybe he just found it randomly. But, like, why else would he delete that? It doesn't make any sense. Vish, that was funny, man. We're gonna call him out. Let's call that him out funny. on this. Yeah, Vish, explain yourself. Why? Come on the show and explain For yourself. 2013, that is a long way back. How? <laughs> Listen, you know what? She's like the rage right now. She's killing it. Yeah. Love her. Mm -hmm. But 2013, that's dedication. I mean, 2013 <laughs> Ariana scroll. was not killing it like 2019 Ariana, but Vish still loved her then. I think it's just proving a point I, that he was on her. Why is she so popular in esports? You see Courage and all the Fortnite because boys on top of that too? They're always tweeting at her. Like, well, thirsty. It's because of Courage. It's because of Courage 100. So she followed Courage back. No! Yes, she did. Yes, she did. So the whole community, all Fortnite, <laughs> is just like sipping tea, waiting for something to happen. I don't think it's going to, but I love that she followed him back. This is a beautiful union waiting to happen. I agree. Our yeah. final tweet is from our boy Hugs. I know, Hugs again. But <laughs> dude's got spicy tweets and random thoughts that apply to all of us. Don't lie. He says, you ever wear the same set of clothes two days in a row because different groups of people are going to see you in it? <laughs> this doesn't apply to me or anything. Haha. <laughs> Just wondering and stuff. <laughs> all right, Lisa, don't suspect. lie. Don't lie. Don't call me out right now. I will admit it full on. I have a leisure suit. What's a leisure suit? Well, whatever the weekend calls for. One outfit per weekend? It's like a certain <laughs> pair of jeans that uh -huh. I'll wear again. Uh huh. And the same top that I might wear, wear again. again. <laughs> if I'm not going to see the same people two days in a row or post my Instagram. Listen, I can't do that. I think I've only <gasps> done that once. Oh my God. And I, it felt wrong. Okay. I'm the kind of person. Okay, you guys are going to hate on me for this. Uh -huh. I'm the kind of person that washes my jeans after wearing it once. Oh! I know you're, Are not you serious? To. you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. In the producer room, they were like, you know what I learned? Actually, the producers told me this. Apparently, you're supposed to put jeans in the, the freezer. freezer. Yeah. What, what? To clean them? To keep them? No. Okay. Well, that's why for like, like, like legitimate denim. If you're wearing oh, your wearing like, denim. yeah. Denim. No, no, no. If you're wearing like that cheap stuff that you buy jeans for like twenty bucks. That's me. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> I'm saying it. Uh, <laughs> then you don't have to put your jeans in the freezer because it's not like legit denim. Okay. But yeah, real denim you can put in the freezer that somehow cleans them. I don't get it. But Lisa Duan, you what? wash it. I li okay, straight up. I hate. I hate the feeling of old jeans. You know when you put on a new fresh pair of jeans and it's like tight, oh, oh God, tight <laughs> and like it's fresh, right? It holds the right way. Like that, I love, I can't. I know, okay, guys go crazy in chat. You know what, that was unfortunate <laughs> phrasing. I'm get for buying I'm cheap sorry. denim, by the way, because it loosens. I know what she's saying, because she wants to be tighter on your derriere. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere. Just keep it toy. You want to keep it toy. So, you know? uh, yeah, you you have to <laughs> you have to wash it. But Lisa, I'm Lisa, are you, are you I don't want you to get in on this. I want to move on because I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this already. So let's move on to crowd controlled, which is basically where we search the internet and pick out what you guys have been creating and posting. So first up, we have a post submitted on Reddit by Mindless Sponge, and it's a fun game we like to call Pokemon or Prescription. <laughs> so let's take a look here. All right, let me read out some to you. So you tell me if it's a okay. Pokemon or if it's a prescription, okay? okay, okay. Let's try this. Benicar. Benicar, I choose you. Prescription. Damn it, you're right. Okay, okay, here, here's another one. Um, Illumize. Side Alu effects may Alumize. include. Illumize. Huh? Um, 
Uh, guys, Pokemon. Chat. Pokemon. Pokemon? Yeah. You're correct. Girl, oh, you're killing it. Okay, I got one more. This one really tripped me up. Okay. Tricor. Grass type. Uses the move. I, I think storm. prescription. <gasps> do you use this prescription? No. How do you know? No, no, but it has like a core. At the, I don't know. That's what pharmaceuticals kind of do to like, this is going to work. Tricor. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> honestly, this list is really hilarious. Okay, There's okay. a couple that actually like... Tranquil, there's a Pokemon called Cyndaquil. So like, uh, you know what I mean? Okay, like they okay. could be evolved forms there. That's true. But this is a good game, I like it. I, this is a fun it should game, be a drinking right? game. Uh, okay. Later. We, we, like, tra tra Tranquil. We just, no, <laughs> oh my god, don't do that. Oh, oh my, do wait, not do so that. We're not promoting this, we're not promoting this, promoting this. my bad. It's a G-Race. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, Pokemon have gotten more ridiculous each generation with their Pokemon types and yeah. names and styles. For sure. So I want to know, first of all, judging you, Okay. What's your favorite Pokemon? This any, is big. Any fire type. Um, any fire type. Okay. Yeah, so I'm really big into fire type, so I'll always start my Pokemon with fire type, pick them every time. I'm mm. really into score bunny, like I'm definitely gonna pick that one up. Easy. Yo, it's like a fire thumper, BB. <laughs> I'm Listen, all over it. I'm actually team fire type too. Okay, good. But the score bunny thing. I, what? We've already talked about this so many times. It's so fast and it's fire. It's so unoriginal, but let's, ah, we're okay. <laughs> Weirdest Pokemon though, like what's the strangest Pokemon you've heard of? Because um, the newest generations, there's like weird ones that are yeah. designed after keys. There's weird yeah. ones designed after the Garburator, like the yeah. trash can thing. Pokemon, I don't, yeah, come on. yeah, no, but they have to get inventive, right? And sometimes inventive means just digging in the trash. Literally. Literally. All right. Moving on, our next post was posted by Recording on Reddit, and he noticed a stark resemblance between Apex's latest hero, Octane, and this other familiar game character. Hmm. Oh. Is it a rip-off? So Psyker from Borderlands? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Inspired oh. or simply a rip-off? Ooh, a Max, this is Mad an Max interesting. Fury Road. I think a lot of people were kind of roasting Apex in general for their Battle Pass situation. Okay, well... What? Listen, I'm not Brody. Don't look at me like that. No, no, I'm just saying, like, everybody... Uh, it's fine. We just always look for a reason to hate on something, especially... Unpopular like, opinion. Bit. Unpopular opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, right? Hashtag Lucid One. Okay. But looking at that picture, they are very similar. Like, no, yeah, very of course. similar. Um, I get it. So are we gonna call rip off here or I don't legal know. lawsuit? I, can, no? I, there's what? so many different. There, honestly, there's so many different characters in different games that kind of seem like other characters from other games. Like think That's of true. the lore of all these different games and how many different characters there are. They are, and just like even in anime, like how many of those characters have been slightly ripped off, right? So uh, even Pokemon, like we were just saying, ripping yeah. off from prescriptions. <laughs> okay, that's and, gar and garbage cans. <laughs> that's a little different. I mean, they could at least try to mix up like the color of the mask. Like, the details are a little striking. I don't it know. It kinda, you so know young. what? It kind of reminds me of the Seinfeld episode where um, Elaine submits a comic to the New Yorker, and mm -hmm. she thinks it's an original, but then later comes back and it's actually a Ziggy. She rips it off. She didn't realize because she sleeps with her boyfriend who has Ziggy bed, bed sheets, and it must have seeped into her subconscious. So these characters could have just seeped into her or whoever made these characters subconscious. Yeah, yeah, it happens to everyone. Yeah, I know. All right, lastly now, we have a <laughs> clip posted by Strike underscore Gently, and it's a clip from GTA 5, mm. so we know it's gonna be good. Let's see it. What the? Oh! Uh, <gasps> uh, uh, what? what? You, know, you know what the best part is? The name of this clip is Arresting the Puppetrator. Okay, I wanna see it again. Okay. Okay. Let's see it again. Okay. Uh, all right. You know, okay. first of all, that yeah. was a good parking job. Yeah. First of all, <laughs> yo, how do? Okay, how, how would dare a dog he? drive? How would a dog drive? First of I all, I have no. Okay, Four don't even know. But how dare he aim his weapon at that dog? You wouldn't. It's, it's you hit that dog? No, I'm just saying. As a police officer, you have to be armed and ready. You know, uh, it's not wrong. He seemed it was a dog. The dog, dog seemed. I don't know. Not very violent. If, <laughs> It was a little energetic. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But imagine the surprise if a dog comes out of the car. Oh my God, that's like life goals. Yeah. I don't want anybody to get hurt, but like sometimes they have high speed chases, especially in America. I just got back from America. The second I landed there, there was a high speed chase on the TV. Yeah, but was it a dog? No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> but imagine how amazing it would have been if it were a dog. I'm, that's all I want in my life. Just, just once before report. I die. Once before I die. No. Let there be a high speed chase of the dog that where no one gets hurt. But okay. Well, the point is GTA. <laughs> GTA is coming back, apparently, with the okay. role-play mod that's happening yes. right now. So have you tried it? Like, are you feeling no. that? Is that? Ain't nobody got time for that. I mean, it actually sounds cool. I've never played GTA before, but really? just that, I've never played it, okay? Girl. I know, I'm missing out. I need even my DS. I want you to play Chinatown Wars. Ch Chinatown, it's huh? So okay, are you serious? <laughs> if I can use that mute button, are you serious? Right, she's, no, no. Not, she's not even Chinese. I'm not. <laughs> like, but ask me for the people. Ask me for the people. How dare you try to 
gonna flip it on me. What? That's it. We're gonna play eat dumplings in the okay. GTA. <laughs> Quiet now. That's all the time we have for today's Unmuted. Remember that you can always reach out to us on our socials at Squad State to let us know what you want us to react to and discuss. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.